everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the basics of a resume. So what is a resume? A resume is just an outline of your qualifications, experience, and education for potential employers. The definition of the word itself, resume, according to the dictionary, just means summary. And that's exactly what your resume is. It's a summary that potential employers can look over quickly. Resumes allow potential employers to quickly identify the skills and qualities of a person before having to interview or meet them in person. This is why we use bullet points and not paragraphs. Resumes are tailored to reflect every individual, so no two resumes will ever be alike. So today, we'll show you some of the basics of a resume and some tips to help you with your own. So let's look at a typical resume. A typical resume will usually be divided into five or four different sections. We'll usually find your name and contact info at the top, followed by qualifications and skills, education, employment experience, and then usually the last section might not be there, but could also be there, and that is what I'm going to call an extra section. Extra section doesn't necessarily need to be in a resume and can look different for everyone, but we'll talk more about that a little later on. So let's start with the very top of your resume. This is where you will place your name and contact information. You will always want to have your name be the most eye-catching feature of the resume. Your name should be at the very top, bolded if needed, or a bigger font to catch the eye of the reader. Underneath your name, make sure to always place contact information such as your email, phone number, or if you would like, your address as well. This will help the reader quickly identify what best method to contact you by after reading your resume. Underneath your name and contact information, there should always be a section that summarizes your qualifications and skills. This section is your chance to talk all about what makes you special and what sort of skills you possess. Like all sections of your resume, this section should be in bullet point format. You can place anywhere between five to 10 bullet points talking about your different skills and qualifications. It might seem a little difficult at first to come up with some skills, but you can always ask yourself different questions to get started. You can ask, do I speak any other languages other than English? Are there any skills like maybe time management or public speaking that I have? Are there any computer programs that I can use like maybe Word or PowerPoint? If I could name two positive traits about myself, what would I say? Maybe reliable, trustworthy, great at talking to others? These are all questions to help you get thinking about skills that you might place in this section. But don't be afraid to be creative. Following this, you want to have a section that talks about your education. This section is all about showing the reader what sort of education level you have obtained or are working towards. Usually this section will only have from high school onwards, so even if you haven't finished high school yet, future employers want to know where you are studying, what year you are in, and anything relevant that you would like to mention. Although it's not necessary, some individuals do like to place their averages or things they have won like awards or scholarships. Next, you want to have a section that talks all about your employment experience. The section will probably be the section a future employer will focus on the most. Underneath, you will have any employment or pay position that you currently have or have gained in the past. You want to make sure that you include the name of the place you worked, your position, where it is located, and a few bullet points underneath outlining the different responsibilities you had. These bullet points are a chance for you to support the qualifications or skills that you had mentioned earlier in your resume. So for example, if you mention that you are proficient at Word or PowerPoint, one of your positions should discuss how you use these programs in your position. Well, what if you don't have work experience? That is totally okay. You can always substitute the section with volunteer work that you have done or anything else that you can come up with that you think is relevant to a job position. Don't forget, a resume will look different for everyone, so you can be as creative as you want. We mentioned earlier that there could be a fifth section. Now, the fifth section isn't really necessary, but it's important to mention as some of you might find that there are other things you would like to highlight about yourself that you didn't really get a chance to talk about or mention earlier in your resume. This section could be titled any of the following. It could be volunteer experience, 
So do you have any volunteer experience outside of work or school that you would like to talk about? Maybe extracurriculars? Like, are you part of any sports team outside of school or part of a choir? Have you won any awards that you didn't mention earlier? Could also be certifications, like maybe if you're a CPR first aid certified. These are all examples and can be used to supplement the other information and give the reader an even better picture of who you are. Now also keep in mind that a resume isn't just limited to the five sections either. If you wanted to add a sixth or even a seventh section, that is totally fine. Just make sure that your resume is always within the two page limit. With that being said, let's talk about the structure of a resume. A resume is a professional document, so we should always be using professional language and asking around two to three people to proofread the resume before sending it out. We should always make sure that the spacing, bold text and format is also consistent throughout the entire resume and that we're using one-liners. This just means that our bullet points are only taking about one line and no more. We always want to make sure that our resume is under two pages and that everything we list under any section is listed from most recent being at the top to least recent. Lastly, don't be afraid to ask for help. There are many online resources that can help you structure your resume. You can find different examples of wording and formats that can help tailor your resume and make it specific to you. Also, don't be afraid to ask your parents, friends, family to show you theirs so that you can get a feel of how a resume can be structured. Thank you for watching.